Hey guys, my name is Michelangelo Gonzalez. I'm doing the role of Gerald and I'm from Hollywood, Florida, which means that I'm a local South Florida hire. It went on for years. It was my whole childhood. They, uh, they told me that a child's mind was uncorrupted, that there was no veil between me and God. They said that God spoke to him through me. To your pastor? Yeah. And I believed them, him, my parents, and the others in the church. I thought I was special. How old you were when your social service took you? Ten. After that, uh, I was in foster care to my 18th birthday. Um, suffering is a blessing, as cruel as God's plan may seem sometimes. I think losing my little boy was a blessing. It brought me to know God again. I have this, this recurring nightmare. And through that suffering, wasn't it your faith in God that saved your life? No. Pretending saved my life. Pretending? I don't think I believe anymore. Not in God, not in any of it. I want to believe, I really do. I just can't get past this idea that none of it has ever made any sense. That's my testimony. I'm just a character they expect me to play. Who are they? They, uh, everyone who's ever been outside that door. I worry that I'm more afraid of social judgment than divine judgment. I'm afraid of the pastor here, of the deacons, the trustees, the kids I mentor, uh, a little old Miss Proctor with the, with the offering plate. I'm afraid of what they would think of me if I stood up one Sunday and said, I'm not the man that you expect me to be. I'm afraid of what my life would be like without this place. I'm afraid that there wouldn't be any point. That's the hell that I'm afraid of. That everyone I love will abandon me. Had they knew all the doubt and the shame that I've been hiding deep down inside of me. The worst part is my family. <laughs> Julie and I met in college, and she's really never accepted Christ in her life. You know, I'll drag her and Dylan to a church with me every week because I was afraid of going through it alone. And what would any of it mean? I mean, what would it have ever meant? All this empty performance art if I just decided to walk away. So I fake it. I fake it because it's comfortable. I fake it because I don't know anything else. I fake it because I'm not strong enough to be my true self. I fake it because I'm terrified. Christ is on a path that led me to you, Gerald. I thank him for that. I thank you. And this church, uh, these people, they deserve someone like you. Not me. Mm, when our faith is weakest, that's when the Lord sends us a test. That's when sometimes the Lord makes us suffer so the King that He can bless us. So He can make us a whole again. Well I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, it's a good place to stop. Tell me later something. Dylan? Yes. Um, he's a sweet boy. He's always happy. Uh, smart as a whip, too, but he gets that from his mother, not me. And, uh, you know, he can tell you more about Esther and Moses than I ever could. Uh, at his age, for sure. <laughs> and what to met him? Um, sorry? Uh, oh no, I, I, don't, I don't mean to be forward, I apologize. I have nearly a new church family and well, this congregation seems wonderful. 
regardless of uh, Hosanna mysteries. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Um, you're absolutely right. Whatever comes of this merger, this hostile takeover, as some people might call it, uh, we need good people like you, Evelyn. And um, I'd be honored to have you involved in our, in our ministry. Thank you, Earl. Bless you. Uh, God bless you.